Hi guys, or I should probably say hola because I'm filming this video from beautiful Costa Rica outside on my balcony on a hammock. I know, pretty crazy, so sorry if the lighting isn't perfect or if you can hear birds squawking in the background, but I'm in the middle of nature, there's nothing I can do about that. So today the plan is to head to the beach, so I thought I would do a get beach ready with me video for you and also show you some of my beach essentials and maybe give you some beach clothing ideas as well. So when getting ready to go to the beach, the first thing obviously is my makeup. So the first thing that I apply is Piswin Factor 30 Face Lotion because I don't want to get any kind of burn on my face and to be honest my face isn't tan that well anyway so I'm not too bothered about putting a high factor on my face. The first bit of makeup that I apply is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Concealer. This is quite a new one which I'm trying out and it's quite full coverage um, but I don't like to have under eye circles at any time let alone when I'm on the beach so this is a really good one for that and I also apply it to any areas of redness on my face. And then I go in with a really light foundation. Currently I'm obsessed with the Guerlain Terracotta Jolie Taint. Now this is a really lovely sun-kissed glowy foundation. It gives you a really nice healthy glow, but also keeps looking really good as the day goes on. So even if you've been on the beach, you're getting a little bit hot, I find it still looks really, really good. It just gives you a nice healthy glow and really good coverage, which doesn't slide around, which is so important when you're on the beach. Next, I'll do my eyebrows, and I won't leave the house that day with my eyebrows, so that's no surprise. I'm gonna use the Anastasia Brow Wiz. This is of course the one that I use nearly every day, so no change there for the beach. And then I'm going to apply a really light and kind of sparkly eyeshadow from the Zoeva palette. This has become my favourite palette recently and I took it with me to Costa Rica. I'm just using a really light shade across my eyelids. Nothing special here, just to give a little bit of a nice glow. And then one piece which I never change in my beach beauty routine is my waterproof mascara. And this is the Clarins Ultra Waterproof in Intense Black. This has become my holy grail go-to beach essential because it's so waterproof. It literally does not go anywhere once you apply this to your lashes. I like to also put a little bit of balm on my lips before I head to the beach and so I'm using one of the new Tarte Lip Balms in the shade Nude. I'd never tried Tarte Lip Balms before but I love the packaging of this one. It's got gorgeous little gold and pink shells on it and I really like the kind of mentally feeling it gives on the lips, so a bit of a tingle. And then the last makeup that I apply is a little bit of bronzer and again I'm using a Guerlain Terracotta bronzer. I actually bought this one with me because it's in a really small compact. A lot of my other bronzers are just really, really huge. And I also love the really natural glow that this one gives. It's not too dark, but it just gives my skin a little bit of colour before I hit the beach. Later, when I'm on the beach, I'll apply a Clarins Jolly Rouge lipstick. I've got shade 20, which is Coral Tulip. And I just really like the colour of this one. It's got a lovely balmy texture, so it's nice and moisturising. And it just gives a nice pop of colour to my lips during the day. So that's the makeup that I will do when I head to the beach. I might change around the products a little bit, but the majority of the bits that I use, such as foundation with SPF in it, it doesn't really change that much. So other beach beauty essentials, of course, include sun cream, and I'm a big fan of Piswin, of course, that's the reason why I'm here in Costa Rica. And I like to apply maybe a one-day lotion at the beginning of the day, and then I have a couple of favourites here, which I also like to take in my beach bag. So the first one is this one, which is their new Protect and Cool Refreshing Sun Mousse, and this is in Factor 30, but I've also got Factor 15. And when you pump this out, it's a really cooling, refreshing mousse, so it's nice to cool you down a little bit during the day, as well as giving you some sun protection. And then for later on in the holiday, I've also got their Tan and Protect Tan Accelerating Oil Spray in Factor 15. So because it's an oil, it really helps you to tan a little bit more, get a more intense tan, but I don't tend to use this until I've been in the sun for a few days so that my skin is used to the sun. So next I thought I'd tell you about some of the essentials that I keep in my beach bag. And on this trip, my beach bag is actually this rucksack which I picked up from Accessorize. I just thought it would look really nice when it was a little bit battered. And the rucksack part of it is coming in really handy because we're doing a few um, kind of walks and treks as well. So this is the beach bag. A few of my essentials include some sandals and I've been loving these ones recently. They are from Topshop and I just really love this kind of metallic strap and flip flop. So they're really secure on the feet but also I think they just look really really chic and nice and flattering as well. And I've also got my sunglasses. I always bring a couple of pair of sunglasses, a slightly more expensive pair. This is a pair of aviators from Ray-Ban. 
look a little bit like this. And then I've also got a Topshop pair which I'll kind of wear in the sea, which I won't be too upset if I lose, but these obviously are a little bit more valuable. So I tend to always bring two pairs of sunglasses to the beach. Also in my bag, I have my phone for obvious reasons. I don't ever really go anywhere without it. And then also my vlogging camera, which is the Canon G7X. As I said, my Olympus is currently being fixed, but I'm really, really liking this one at the moment for vlogging. Then I have my beach purse, and this is a Kate Spade one, which I picked up in a sample sale a little while ago. And I've got a few dollars and Costa Rican currency in here as well, because you never know what you might want to buy on the beach. I also have my Apple headphones, because I love to just put in some music and drown out the rest of the world when I'm sunbathing. So this is a really good, um, just a cheap pair of headphones to keep in my beach bag. And then I also have a few kind of cheap accessories in here as well. So this is a pretty necklace, which I got from, I think, Accessorize. And then a little bracelet, which I got from New Look and a really cheap, I think this is a Primark hair clip and I just find these add a little bit of glamour to a beach look but they're not too expensive so nothing's going to get ruined. One thing that absolutely saves my hair when I'm on the beach is this and it's the Charles Worthington Sunshine Protector Leave-In Spray. I don't actually use it as leave-in spray but more of a leave-in conditioner so when I come out of the sea I spritz this all over and it really helps to untangle and then I've got a travel hairbrush in there as well and this not only does the UV protecting and untangling but also stops my hair from going a funny colour in the sun so this is definitely a beach bag essential. And finally I'll probably have a book or a magazine in there but on this trip we are just too busy for me to do any of that so I don't have a book or magazine with me but I usually would. And then the last thing is a Lizelle mini face spritz spray because this just adds a little bit of moisturiser when you come out of the sea and also is really cooling and refreshing. So this is their instant boost skin tonic and I also love to use this one on the aeroplane so it's kind of two for the price of one. So now I'm going to show you a few of my favourite bikinis and outfits to wear to the beach so hopefully it gives you some inspiration and of course I'll leave all the links down below if you wanted to go and check any of them out for yourself.